स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एनसीआर एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम टू पॉइंट फोर्टी फोर फ्रॉम पेज नंबर सेवेंटी वन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम राइट सो लेट्स रीड दिस स्टेटमेंट एन आयन विद मास नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स कंटेन्स थ्री यूनिट्स ऑफ पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड थर्टी पॉइंट फोर परसेंट मोर न्यूट्रॉन्स दैन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स असाइन दिस सिंबल टू दिस आयन ओके सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर इज एन आयन ओके एंड इट्स मास नंबर इज फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड दिस आयन कैरीज थ्री यूनिट ऑफ पॉजिटिव चार्ज दैट मीन्स देयर इज थ्री पॉजिटिव चार्ज ऑन दिस आयन राइट एंड Uh, they are saying 30.4 percent neutrons are more than electrons, right? And you have to tell about the symbol of this ion, right? So for this, I'll assume that let this ion is x, right? And this ion carries three units of positive charge. That means I'll say it is having three positive charge over it, right? Now in this question, it is clear that the number of electrons are less than the number of protons, right? Let's see the given values, right? So in this question, mass number is given. So you can write over here mass number equal to fifty six, right? Now we have to make the relation according to the mass number to find the number of electrons and protons, right? So mass number. equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons in this question it is clear that number of neutrons are 30.4% more than the electrons right so first of all i'll assume that let number of electrons equal to x this ion is carrying three positive charge that means number of protons are three more than electrons so i can say number of protons equal to x plus 3 now number of neutrons these are 30. 4% more than the electrons right so first of all i'll mention number of electrons plus 30.4% more than electrons right so it will be x plus 30.4 i'll remove this percentage sign and assign 100 in the denominator of x so 30.4 divided by 100 it will be X plus zero point three zero four X. X plus zero point three zero four X. It will be one point three zero four X. Now we are having number of protons, number of neutrons, and uh, we'll put the value in this relation and find out number of protons over here. Mass number equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons so mass number is 56 number of protons x plus 3 plus number of neutrons 1.304 x now rearrange the values so what i'll do i'll simply rearrange it as X plus three plus one point three zero four x equal to fifty six. Now x plus one point three zero four x it will be two point three zero four x plus three equal to fifty six. When I will take this three on the other side of equal to, it will change its sign. So two point three zero four. X equal to fifty six minus three. So fifty six minus three, it will be fifty three. So two point three zero four x equal to fifty three. Right now, I have to find the value of x. So what I'll do, I'll simply take two point three zero four in the denominator. So fifty three divided by two point three zero four. When you'll divide. Fifty three with two point three zero four. Your approximate answer will be 
23.00 that means number of electrons that we assumed equal to x these are 23 now number of protons three more than number of electrons so we assumed that it is x plus 3 so 23 plus 3 it will be 26 we know that in a neutral atom number of protons are equal to the value of atomic number so i can say that number of protons can also tell about the atomic number of the element right so number of protons are 26 that means atomic number of this element is also 26 so the element who is having 26 atomic number is iron so first of all i assumed that this element is x and at subscript we mention the atomic number superscript we always mention mass number right and this element carries three positive charge right so you can mention over here it is having three positive charge now the element whose atomic number is 26 is iron so f e atomic number 26 mass number is 56 over here and it is carrying three positive charge you can also mention it as fe3 positive 